Hey everybody, what's up? That's right, I'm in the sauna. It's kind of warm. I like to come in here about two minutes before a workout, just kind of warm up my muscles, get a little bit of sweat on, but mainly just kind of warm up those muscles. So, especially if I work large muscle groups like today, I mean, today is going to be an amazing day. What we're going to do is we're going to work that chest in that back. Some people are like, wait, why would I do that? I mean, those are the opposites. One's a push, one's a pull. And that's the whole point of it, literally. Because one thing, once, I mean, sometimes you just need to confuse those muscles. And at the same time, these muscles work together constantly. In order to push, you need to pull. And those are the biggest pushing and pulling muscles on your body. So today, we're going to literally stack it up, hit it hard, and I'm going to show you how to do it. And here we go. I start off push-ups. Wide arm push-ups. This is actually from the MFT28 and Greg Plitz. Thank you. Amazing guy. May he rest in peace. But hey, this was an amazing workout. I loved it, and so I threw it into my own actual routine. Um, what I would do is I start off those wide arms, um, do them until failure on the floor. Then I'd go up a level on the Smith machine there, and every time you go up, you actually move your hand in three inches. You start out with wide grip on the farthest, on the lowest level, then every time you move it up, you actually move your hands in. And then you get to the point where you move it up the third time and you're going to flip your hands over and do that reverse grip. That reverse grip is actually going to work that upper chest for you. Like me personally, that's one area I'm failing. And then you go right here into the close grip. You're still working that upper chest, but you actually, it, like this whole entire push-up thing right here just tears your whole entire chest out. By the time you're done, after you've done it three sets, that's right, I said I did this three sets, you get... Literally, but I, I'd get about 300 push-ups. It feels amazing. You get a great, great, great tear. And then I went, this is my own modified part right here. I do the pull-ups. They're more like a row is what they are. Um, you're just flipping over and you're kind of pinching those shoulder blades together. You're just get, getting back there and you're trying to work that, that valley in the middle of the back, you know? I would do eight to 12. As you can see, I edited it a little bit and then there's only about three to four pull-ups each time, but I did do about eight to 12 each time. It depends on how much you weigh and how many you can get because the lighter guys, you might be able to get, I mean, shoot, you might be able to get a whole bunch out. I mean, I'm 200 pounds. <laughs> That's a lot of weight to pull. But then as you can see here on the last one, I would reverse grip just like I did on the push-ups. I was going to do a reverse grip, but I'm mainly focusing on that pinch right in the middle of my back. Okay. And then I would wait about two to three minutes after I was done with the with this lift. I remember I did it three sets. All these exercises is three sets. I'd go straight in to the lat pull down. I supersetted my lat pull downs with push ups and lower incline, like decline. I mean, decline uh, bench press. Sorry about that. Ugh, confused myself. But no. And make sure when you do do your lat pull pull downs, you're really stretching and flaring out those lats there. As you can see on mine, they're popping out, right? That's your key point when you're doing the lat pull downs. You really want to do that. And then I went straight around to the close grip push ups, and you do about 10 to 20, whatever you feel, a, a not quite failure. You don't want to fail right here because you're going to superset right into the decline because you, so you don't want all your energy to be gone when you actually start lifting, you know, some big weight. You don't want to go too heavy in the weight, but you don't want to go too light. You want to get about eight to 12 reps when you go here. Remember, you're doing three sets of these supersets, all of them, three sets. Then a lot of people don't like to do flies. I personally do. I like to do flies. And here I am doing my upper flies. And I actually like it because it really helps. I'm personally now working on that valley on my upper chest. And this is one thing I really need to do to do that. Looks, flies are good for you. If you're going for strength, you really don't want to do too many flies. Okay? And then I would actually, when doing this, these flies right here, I'm still working that upper chest, but I'm working it in a different way. And a lot of people, when they try these, they, they really screw up by using their shoulders to pull forward. No, you don't want to use your shoulders. You want to use your chest. Remember, we're not doing shoulders today. We're doing chest. And then right after that, I would go straight into this mod. It's more of a modified, uh, uh, lat pull down, but it's behind the head and it's just really focusing right there on my pinch in my back. As you can see, I'm not really going down too far, but I'm really focused on that pinch, right? And then I went into actual flat bench, but I didn't get to film it because tons of people started showing up at the gym. Uh, right here, I actually got to film a little bit because there wasn't too many people and I could film, but I was supersetting the flat bench with these rows, okay? 
It feels amazing. And make sure when you do the rows, you're really getting that good stretch right down there, boom, and then up. Okay? You really got to focus on that stretch because that's really going to help you. Hey, everybody. I hope you like what you saw. And actually, today I uh, did do a couple extra exercises on there, um, but I didn't get to film it because. The gym started getting a little packed and me being blind and trying to film got confusing. Next thing you know, uh, no, wasn't going to happen. But what I did do, I did some flat bench. Also, when I did the flat bench, I went straight into it. I supersetted it with the regular rows, which I did get a film and you did see. <clears throat> and then I did, uh, let's see, I did incline bench with, I actually did, I went from incline bench and then I did flies with it. And then I went over and supersetted that with the actual row machine close grip. So I would get the close grip, pull that, boom, and then I'd go do my uh, incline, and then at the same time I'd do the incline flies. I'm really trying to work that valley at the top, uh, which is a really hard place to actually get on some people. Some people have trouble with the lower chest, some people have trouble with the upper. I'm definitely one of those guys with have trouble with the upper. And uh, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, um, I actually just, then at the end, I just, as you saw at the beginning, when I did the modified pull-ups and push-ups on the Smith machine, I actually finished with that too. I started with that and I got to about 300 at the beginning and at the end it was only about 150 really. I mean, it, it, I didn't get that many at all. I mean, I was done spit and I was ready to get out of there. But as you can see, it was a really intense workout and then at the end I even had to throw my abs into it because you gotta do abs every day in calves. I'm lucky, I'm one of those guys that really don't have to do calves too, too often. Uh, I actually do them every other day to kind of give them a little bit of rest. But I mean, you got to think, you got to do either abs or some sort of core in calves every day because you use those every day. You walk every day, you bend, you twist, you turn. It all consists of the core and the calves. That's just one thing you have to do. But hey, I hope you all like what you saw. If you want to go ahead and subscribe, go hit the subscribe button. It's somewhere on the screen. I'll put it there. And go ahead and comment below if you have anything that you want to actually tell me that I might have done wrong and or if you have any advice or any more questions, just go ahead and put it down below. Thanks and be ambitious.